WTFNN. Headline News Update. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman here on this Wednesday, the 23rd of uh, March at 9 o'clock, Tiger Financial News Network market update. This is pre-market. The Dow Futures is down 160 at 34,551, giving back some of that extra gain from yesterday. But this will extend it to a higher high in leg D, but it's the cash index that we go by, and the cash index is actually in leg C. That means we're still expecting sometime probably this week uh, a move to uh, maybe early by Monday, a move to a leg D, but that 34,900 area to 35,000, maybe in 50, that's going to be strong resistance. And we're just above the 200 period moving average, making 34,374 key support over the next couple of days. Looking at the E mini, the ES is trading down. Uh, 24 at 4480 also in lake c but it hasn't made a new high it's 50 cents off that there's a continuous contract so maybe this is already making a peak c but in the cash index we're in leg d in the chapter wave we always expect a buy mode to go to at least a peak d here we are on c so there could be a pullback with a lower high today and then over the next two days try to work its way high into the 45 maybe 22 area that's going to be, there's a lot of resistance coming up. The QQQ NDX 100 trading vehicle for the uh, Invesco Trust Series, QQQ, 354.03, down almost three points, right at the 200 period moving average. And that's been extremely strong resistance for a long time. So moving about 361 would be very important over the next couple of days. Key support is at about the 352 area, maybe 351. IYM IY is the Russell 2000. That is trading right now down one at 206.43. But most of and the, the resistance is at 211 at the 200 period moving average. Most importantly, gold is trading up seven. It's trying to move, it's in a sideways consolidation phase. Breaking above 1955 would be positive. Breaking under 1900 says, uh oh, not ready for prime time again. It's going to have to have more of a digestive phase. It's really in a digestive phase. If you look at the TLT, I mean, look at this. The TLT, oh, now it's up 22 cents. Whoopee, 128.90. There's a chance that the TBT, which is the inverse in leg D, could actually pull back a little bit here. We'll see what the Fed says today. But we're watching this really closely because the 22.60 level for the uh, TBT was the high that was made a year ago. Is it going to test that again? Have a wonderful day. Stay, stay tuned for Tommy O'Brien coming up with market kickoff with great programming. Yeah, I'll be back tomorrow regular time and check out our big the day. The reality is that navigating financial markets